All right, so this was a year ago, and what happened there was, uh, well, I mistakenly signed note of this account, and the problem was that the recovery email was deleted. It was a Yahoo account, and they just decide Yahoo decided to just fucking kill it without notification or anything. So I'm sitting here trying to get back in, repeatedly entering the password in, only to be rejected. Uh, I had to contact them to find that out, but uh, for some reason a recovery email was required when all I had to do was enter the fucking password in, because Google and in, in its infinite wisdom, as they own YouTube, if anyone who may click on this was not aware of that, but anyway, here we go. This was sent, I think, well a year ago, so that was probably during that time. So. Well, when I came back also, the notification was empty, so I didn't see this. Anyway, for number three, people preach to save you. Okay, so um, how do people feel about your pre uh, Christian preaching? How do they feel about this truth? You're, re you're um, appealing to the one causing the danger which requires people to be saved from. So you're enabling the problem. You're you're enabling the culprit or tyrant, whatever you want to call this god. Well, you won't call him that, but the, whatever the proper word would be, from my per, uh, from an atheist perspective, not from the Christian. Obviously, you want to annoy people. Otherwise, you tell this god to go fuck himself, as we would. But that's not your mentality. Now, I don't know if you're mentally ill or you're indoctrinated by this religion or what. But either way, you're enabling this God and, and you don't care if you're bugging people or offending people with this sick truth that you believe Christianity to be. It's not pushing a religion onto you. It's saving you. It's saving you, okay? You can try to sugarcoat it as much as you want. It's still, if it requires saving, it's still bad no matter what you call it. No matter what you say you're doing or not doing. What part of that don't you understand? You're trying to save people from a truth. What the fuck? Simple. Obviously the truth is a danger. And God created everything so he's responsible for that danger. He is the fucking danger. Is, uh, which is half intentionally a Breaking Bad reference right there. Open your eyes and see this. That is the lie the world and non-believers spread. Open your eyes and see that this is a lie. What is? What is the lie? What are you saying is the lie? You're asking me to open my eyes to something that you haven't explained to be the lie. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you referring to atheism? How is atheism a lie? If it is, well then, I don't know, because, um, I don't know what I'd be then, because I don't, if Christianity, even if Christianity is the truth, I don't like Christianity, I think, I understand it to be, uh, as people would say, morally reprehensible. It's disgusting, if it is, even if it is the truth. So we're not even talking about whether it's a lie or not. How are, uh, you say that we're spreading it, you don't even, well, I already, well, I already established that, you didn't, you didn't explain anything, you're just calling something a lie. I have never met a man that has chased after God and regarded it. So? That means God is good? If anything, that only means every man who has chased after God is a sicko, like yourself. That's all that fucking means. That can't be an argument in favor of God. A positive one. That's stupid. I have never met a man who has chased after God and regretted it. That's a stupid fucking statement right there. <laughs> a testimony? I can continue, but I ask that you simply take your own time and think. To think about the good and love that comes from Christianity. Okay, how is Christianity good?
first of all and why does okay you're calling Christianity love in that case why does love involve a choice one of those one of the options being a consequence uh, obviously uh, you know being punished for choosing wrong choosing what God does not want choosing God what God does not like how is that how does that make it love um, when you love somebody you want to be with them but if they don't want to be with you that warrants punishment that's a that's criminal what uh, giving people a choice oh yeah okay yeah you don't love me oh, okay I'm gonna kill you how does that make any how is that love that's uh, psychotic of course you would you would say well yes that is psychotic when a person does it but when a God does it, he's allowed to okay so how does God's own being how does God being God make it all right and why do you agree something had to start the creation who said it's a creation why are you assuming it's a creation why do you want it to be a creation and why do you want God to be the creator explain that God uses not evil but put problems into one's life to shape their character why does anyone's why does anyone need to have a shaped character uh, what are problems that they're not evil? Well, problems are just situations that we have to solve if they're only if they're natural problems, if they naturally exist if they're if the problems are caused by man, then that would be quote evil. Wow, that would be psychosis really. But you like the word evil. Evil obviously being bad. So problems aren't Problems are good? Why do you want these problems? Why do you agree that God puts problems whether they're evil or not? Why do you agree with that? And uh, put them through situations. Why make them stronger in their faith? Why do you need through situations to make them stronger in their faith? Okay, so why, you, why do you Christians complain about everything about this world then? Why do you preach? Uh, a lot of you preach for your own fucking benefit because you want for your own desires for your own self for your own sake so wouldn't the world being acting as, as in its nature being fallen be the uh, test of faith but what you rebel against you guys are trying to make this world heaven you complain about sin all the time. Why would you rebel against sin if you're, if God is causing all these fallen evil problems? Well, you say that they're not evil, but uh, okay, God, you're complaining about all the problems God causes to make you stronger, or you're complaining about God causing all these problems, but you, what you claim to be is His way of making you stronger, but you're all complaining about it about these problems these sins the the evil and whatever well this case this video was the guy being sick and saying oh well god made me sick for this and that and also talks about missionary work why do you approve of that and what does that even have to do with strength strength and faith I'm not making any sense here and make them better people as a whole why do people need to be good or better? Why do they, why do, why does anybody need to improve? Uh does, I don't you're not making any sense here. 